Now, Monica and Vincent Castle here, these two were married. They have two children together. She was a fashion model and she made her transition to Italian films and then American and French films. And he is an actor and they met in 1996 while filming the French film, The Apartment. They married three years later and then they have again, two daughters. So she's played in the Matrix sequels and Mary, Mary Magdalene, she played also in The Passion of the Christ. And he's known in his work in the US for Oceans 12 and 13, as well as Black Swan. Now they separated in 2020 by mutual agreement is the statement put out by their representatives after 14 years of marriage. We're looking now at a manifester, 4-6 manifester for Monica and a 2-4 manifesting generator for Vincent. Here we see some dominance channels. Monica has the channel of openness, design of a social being, also the channel of judgment, design of insatiability. Vincent has the channel of charisma, where awareness must become deeds, and the channel of structuring, a design of individuality from genius to freak. So you can see as far as thematics are concerned, they have some shared reality there as far as uh, thematics of circuitry with uh, the dominance anyway, in the individuality, so they can relate to each other in that respect. Now let's look more at details here with the dominance being an interesting thing. Remember to the genes, dominance can be interesting because it's something that the other person doesn't have and therefore it can be, it can be attractive. Now we're going to take a look using this example at the way the manifester with the generator operates. Okay, manifester with Monica, as you can see, no sacral defined and generator with Vincent. Okay, so. Here we have the channel of openness, channel of judgment, and there's her aura. This manifester has that dominance. You can see they're very strong activations there. So what the generator is trying to do is envelop the manifester with very little success, by the way. It just does what it can to try to envelop but it gets very little in return. So what do we know about the manifester and its frequency? Repelling, closed, not letting someone in. So this trying to embrace and envelop, it's like a parachute that's open. It's just gonna wrap right around. It can't, can't penetrate into that. Generator aura, as far as the connection there is not going to have the same kind of experience of her dominance as he would if she were a generator, because the auric frequencies are not going to be the same. It's like um, pouring water and oil together, or even mixing salinity of salt water. Did you know that they won't, they won't mix? So the moment that Ross says, the moment that you're getting very little in return, Genetically, that's the moment that there are all kinds of things that arise. Now, look at this. This picture is brilliant, Katja. He's leaning in towards her, and she's actually <laughs> leaning away. It's just kind of an interesting dynamic there. Of course, he says, in the context of the generator, the first thing that comes to the surface, what is it? You guessed it, frustration. 